Reading furnishes the mind only with materials of knowledge, it is thinking that makes what we read ours. I have always thought the actions of men the best interpreters of their thoughts. New opinions are always suspected, and usually opposed, without any other reason but because they are not common. The only defense against the world is a thorough knowledge of it. We are like chameleons, we take our hue and the color of our moral character from those who are around us. Parents wonder why the streams are bitter when they poison the fountain. Education begins the gentleman, but reading, good company, and reflection must finish him. Being all equal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty, or possessions. To love truth for truth's sake is the principal part of human perfection in this world and the seed plot of all other virtues. Revolt is the right of the people. No man's knowledge here can go beyond his experience. There is frequently more to be learned from the unexpected questions of a child than the discourses of men. So that, in effect, religion, which should most distinguish us from beasts, and ought most peculiarly to elevate us, as rational creatures, above brutes, is that wherein men often appear most irrational, and more senseless than beasts themselves. The Bible is one of the greatest blessings bestowed by God on the children of men. It has God for its author, salvation for its end, and truth without any mixture for its matter. It is all pure, all sincere, nothing too much, nothing wanting. To prejudge other men's notions before we have looked into them is not to show their darkness but to put out our own eyes. All wealth is the product of labor. The great question which, in all ages, has disturbed mankind, and brought on them the greatest part of their mischiefs, has been, not whether be power in the world, nor whence it came, but who should have it. Our business here is not to know all things, but those which concern our conduct. In this fleeting state of action and blindness we are in, should make us more busy and careful to inform ourselves than constrain others. Reverie is when ideas float in our mind without reflection or regard of the understanding. A sound mind in a sound body is a short but full description of a happy state in this world, 
he that has these two, has little more to wish for, and he that wants either of them, will be little better for anything else. One unerring mark of the love of truth is not entertaining any proposition with greater assurance than the proofs it is built upon will warrant. Fortitude is the guard and support of the other virtues.